promiscuous mouse moms have sexier sons. Wait, are we really talking about sexy mice? Yes, yes we are. Hey, this is Annie for D News, filling in for Trace Dominguez. Biologists at the University of Utah found that when female mice had to compete for mates in a promiscuous environment, their sons were more successful at mating. How did they test this? Well, they had the parents compete for mates in mouse barns, which would be sort of like the mouse equivalent of an orgy, I guess, or maybe a college campus, and then they studied the children that were produced. They found that the male children produced 31% more urinary proteins, or MUPs, which are the sex attractants known as pheromones. These pheromones, which are released through urine and scent marks, are what attract female mice. Sounds pretty sexy, right? Well, there are caveats. First, you might be wondering about the dads. Well, they found that promiscuous fathers actually had a slight negative impact on their son's pheromone production. Likely because fathers and sons are then competing in the same environment, which sounds not just unsexy, but also kind of awkward. But they also found that mice who had these heightened pheromones died younger. Only about half of them lived to the end of the experiment, as opposed to 80% of mice with monogamy monogamous parents. Kind of a James Dean effect, live fast, die young, leave a beautiful, small, furry corpse. But what the study is really talking about is epigenetics, which is how parents' environment can change the gene activity of their children. So in other words, how heritable traits are passed down through environment as opposed to DNA. In this case, sexiness, but only through mouse moms. And you're probably thinking the same thing we did. Do the results of this study apply to humans? Well, no, there's no explicit link to human promiscuity in this study. But for more info on how pheromones work in a human setting, albeit a very stinky human setting, check out Anthony's prior episode on pheromone parties, and prior to that, a report on the science of falling in love. Thanks for watching D News. I'll see you guys next time.